Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from my house because I'm officially a work from home mom. Um, and part of that is me finally being able to get you all planner inserts and planner printables and uh, planner pages the way that I've really been wanting to. Um, all of the planner pages and inserts that I've been using and sharing here on YouTube and also on my Instagram, um, I'm finally moving towards being a ready to ship Etsy shop. So if you'd like to see a little bit of what I'm going to be offering, then stick around in the video and we can look at those things together. See you in the video. Okay, so here is a little bit of like the lineup of what I am going to show you all in terms of the planner pages that um, I'm going to try and have as ready to ship items in my Etsy shop. So this right here is one that I have shown you before and I have called this the bi-weekly setup um, and that's because it shows two um, weeks at a time with a sidebar over here. Now what you'll notice of this is that it's very much of a kind of a blank kind of a clean slate. Um, it's not dated and that's just because um, it makes it a little bit cheaper for you all and it also allows for you to have a little more kind of creativity in terms of you like doing hand lettering here or putting stickers here, doing stamps if you want to. Um, I like to use this setup and I think I've shown it to you in the past. Um, oh, that's a different one. Um, but I've shown this to you in the past where what I'll do is I will compartmentalize my planning so that I will put like, just like home and personal stuff up here, and then I'll put business and work stuff down here. So this is one of the ready to ship items that I'm going to have in my store. Um, something else that I'm going to have, and here is one of them. Sorry. Um, this is a week on two pages. It's a vertical layout and it's very similar, of course, to this, only it's not split into like two sections. And this is for those of you who are just really, really used to like the Erin Condren way or the Inkwell Press or even the Plum Paper Planners or I think Lime Life Planners um, way of planning. And you'll see that it does have like the grid back there. It has the same sort of lettering um, and font and everything. And then again, it's blank up there in the corner so that if you want to do hand lettering or using stickers and things, then you can do that. So this is going to be the week on two pages. And this is um, this, this page here and this page, this is a non-standard A5 size page. And um, I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could kind of mix it up like this. That's That could work, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to be selling these unpunched. And the reason why I'm selling them unpunched is because um, I know for my own purposes, I have access to a lot of different types of planners. So while I, I definitely have come to prefer the standard kind of six ring, kind of Kiki K classic kind of Filofax style, um, I do know that there are plenty of people who use like the arc discs or they want to use like a three ring binder. Here is another version of that week on two pages that's up there. Um, but this, this doesn't have a grid back and it's also dated. Um, I've tried this out and I just have found that I really, really like the, the grid version better. Um, in time, I will try and make this available to you as well. But part of the reason why, like I said before, I am doing um, unpunched pages is so then um, whatever system you're using, you can just punch them and, and use them uh, kind of the way that you want to. Of course, yours are not gonna come with like washi on the edges or anything, but um, anyway. So let's see here. Here is another item that I'm going to have available as a ready to ship item. And this is the daily planning pages. And it's a six o'clock start time here. And then it's it ends at 11 o'clock. And this is going to be sold just like this. Um, now, I prefer actually to have it so that it's like a six o'clock, or I'm sorry, a four o'clock start time. Um, I prefer to have that and then have the other side be blank. Um, I've actually, if you have been looking at my Instagram at all, you have noticed that I have transitioned to a setup that looks a little bit like this. 
Um, and the reason why I'm doing that, and I'll show you like kind of my own kind of version of that right here, is because I'm really enjoying using this side as a little bit of like memory keeping or like journaling and things. Um, so it becomes a little bit of a hybrid planner. You'll see there. So um, this is going to be available so that the the um, the daily kind of time grid over here is um, on the left side, and then you can do writing or you can put like pictures or anything that you want on this side. And then if if it doesn't work for you to have the time grid on the left side page, then I have a version here where the time grid is on the right side page. And if you're just the type of person who it works better for you to um, have your time grid over here on the right side and then over here on the left side you have like um, pictures or I don't know like notes or stickers um, then there you go you have this option as well Let's see here something else that I am going to try and make available is this right here which is teacher planning lesson planning pages in full color just like you see them here this is one two three four five like five subjects and then the days run across the top there and then you have two columns here um, I am going to be using this myself I have used this when I was a classroom teacher and I'm going to be using this for unschooling and homeschooling and I do have this in various colors <laughs> um, here is one that I'm calling the 7x7, seven seven, so this is also something I'm going to make available to you all um, eventually. And I have, see I have different color palettes and things. I have versions that that the um, days go down this way, and then these up here are blank. And I design these because I, at any given time, have a lot of creative projects going on, or I do freelance work. And so this really helps me to be accountable for anything like if you are a work at home stay at home parent then you can use these columns to do like zone cleaning or to like track people's schedules and things and um, I call this a 7x7 because it's seven boxes across and then seven boxes down and it accounts for all of the different days of the week and this is a little bit of a jewel tone palette and then we have um, a bright palette and then we have this palette here that's like grayscale or like a black and white palette. And then we have, um, let's see here. Sorry, if the camera's a little shaky. Oh, and then we have here, which is where these are blank here, but then this runs across. Um, so this is seven rows down, and then the traditional Monday through Friday work week. You could make these into weekends if you want to, or you could like combine them. Um, and again, I have that in like that bright palette the grayscale palette, and then the jewel tone kind of palette. So, um, and like I said, I'm gonna be selling, I'm gonna be selling the inserts so that they're not punched, so that the edges, so that they're just like, just whole pages like this. And I've kicked around the idea, and see, you could just punch that and put that right in there if you wanted to. And I've kicked around the idea of selling them punched, but um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to offer a little bit of like a DIY kind of planner option. And so if I sell them to you unpunched, then you can use whatever system it is that you want. You can use a half letter size binder like the ones that you find um, in the Target dollar spot or um, you can mix and match things because I, I like to think that like it's nice when your planner systems can play nicely with other planner systems. <laughs> um, so. There. And like I said, these these are kind of partially dated, but I'm going to be selling inserts that are completely and totally undated, that are totally and completely clean, um, because I want you all to be able to um, just kind of use them as, as you see fit and start whenever you want to. Um, this is a monthly spread. These are going to be partially dated, and those numbers there, I hand wrote those numbers in myself. This is a Sunday through Saturday, so this is like a traditional, or not traditional, but like US style organization of a monthly kind of calendar layout. And um, I do have a version that is a Euro week, so it starts with Monday and then it ends with Saturday and Sunday. So I do have that version, but I will sell these so that, um, so that they have the month down here and the year, and then you would go in and do your hand lettering. And 
Um, here's like August and here is December and you'll see that I have already kind of pre washy the edges and punched them um, so that they kind of go along with the holidays. Um, there's October, but this is what it would be sold as. So, um, and there's no grid in these, actually there is just a very, very slight amount of grid in there. But um, I'm gonna be using these calendars to plan um, YouTube and like blogging content and everything because I'm really gonna try and do the whole planner piece project thing where um, I'm not just like kind of selling these inserts, but I'm really sharing with you all the things that you can do with them based upon my experience as a user experience designer. So, so there we go. So, um, so that's really it. And I'm going to show you kind of how you can use them in ring bound planners as much as in arc bound planners, as much as in like this kind of cheaper version of like a ring bound planner, even maybe how to do like a DIY planner kind of like this. So, um, so yeah, so that's kind of it. And you'll see, I have a lot of planner printables, um, that I have designed a lot of planner inserts. Um, I have even more than this. I have some that are personal size and I have some that are um, full size, like letter size paper. And I'm eventually gonna try and make those available to you all too. So, so that's it. And um, maybe I'll do some grid paper, I don't know. But I just wanted to show you just kind of what is coming and gradually I'm gonna get all this in an Etsy shop so that it's ready to ship for you all. So that's basically it. Um, just to start out, I'm not going to be having a ton of inserts and ready to ship items just because I need to kind of gauge um, the popularity of each of the, the different kinds of planner pages and inserts. So um, it is going to be a little bit of a limited supply, but I am going to try and do things in terms of printing um, so that I have like actual printing days here at home. So then the the stock, like my inventory is replenished on a weekly kind of a basis. Um, so that, that should really help. Um, if, it, if it seems like the demand is there, then what I will try and do is I will try and get some more equipment as my budget and as my, I guess, success or just the demand allows um, for me to move towards uh, a higher level of production. Um, as, as I stated at the beginning of this video and as I'm going to just like reiterate here, I am trying to do this like work from home mom thing. Um, I'm trying to do it in large part for my daughter because we've had a really, really hard year. Uh, we've had a lot of major life challenges and things and um, I have my master's in education so I'm a, I'm a professionally uh, trained, classically trained teacher and um, for the past couple of years actually I've considered doing the whole like homeschooling, unschooling thing with her anyway just based upon how she learns. So part of me trying to make this work being a work at home mom, being like a work from home mom and, and do this whole handmade business thing. Um, I'm doing it because I'm really trying to devote as much as I can to my daughter and, and kind of try and recover some of what we've kind of lost, what we've had to sacrifice, especially within the past year and the years leading up to this. So, so that's basically kind of it. Um, I will try and announce here on YouTube and definitely on my Instagram and I will link my Instagram account in the down bar so that you can find my account a little more easily but um, I'll let you all know uh, just kind of announcements when things go on sale on Etsy I'll try and post some little videos here and I am looking to since since I am working um, from home now and I'm doing this this Etsy shop thing as full time as I possibly can in conjunction with homeschooling and unschooling my daughter, um, I will try and post more frequent videos, maybe some trips, I'm sorry, uh, tricks and tips of how I have found um, planning to give me really, really uh, abundant planner piece. Uh, I'm really trying to go full throttle with this whole kind of planner piece project thing. So, so that's it. For now, thank you so much for um, your interest in my videos. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave and the, the thumbs up and everything. Um, if um, 
you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, then of course, please feel free to subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions about anything that I share here, then I'd love to answer those questions um, as quickly as I can, of course, as, as quickly as I can. I uh, haven't been the best at replying to uh, questions and things, but that's something that I'm really going to work on. So, um, so that's it. And um, if you're interested in knowing whenever I post new things in Etsy, I think that there's a function that allows you to actually follow my account or my store. And then of course you can always check in with me on Instagram. And of course you can always keep up with me here on YouTube. So, so that's it. Um, I'm going to get back to trying to print um, as many more planner pages and inserts as I can so that I can be as well stocked as possible for when I um, open my store to be ready to ship within the week. And uh, that's it. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!